How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another CRISPR Game Dev Diary. Um, whether you've been currently following along or you're tuning in from the future, I just want to say that I appreciate you watching these videos and I hope you get some enjoyment out of them. So, for today I wanted to show you what I'm working on. Um, currently I'm working on improving the uh, blood effects as well as the dismemberment effects and sound effects. <laughs> uh, so now I have it whenever you shoot them. We got some nice kind of bullet impacts that spawn on the body. And then you'll also notice we have two sets of particles that spawn. You have like the initial blood explosion and then you also have a blood mist that accompanies it. You can see it pretty good right there. So there's that. I also changed the sound effects for the impacts. And then for the dismemberment itself, let me shoot. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, you'll see we got some blood spatters on the ground. We had the kind of like artery spray coming out of the arm. And then you also have this decal that spawns where the limb used to be. Um, so you'll notice the particles disappeared pretty quickly. That's something I'm going to change. I'm going to have them linger around a little bit longer. Uh, but that's what the actual effects look like currently. And then let me, uh, let me kill this guy real quick. It's going to look pretty funny here. So yeah, the reason he shot up like that is because I removed the, um, like the flying back death animation because I found out whenever I was hitting him from behind, he would fly back and hit the character and Unreal Engine did not like that. So I'm going to have to do directional kind of death animations now. So where, wherever you hit him at, they'll fly the opposite direction. And then as I was talking, you'll see we have this, uh, nice blood pool that spawns in the location and it will spawn wherever the limb is dismembered at so if you shoot off their arm it'll pull there if you shoot off the head it'll pull there and if you shoot off multiple it'll you'll just have a giant puddle of blood <laughs> so yeah there's that and then i'm gonna use this guy to show off another thing so let's say you shot off his leg and he's chasing after you. Um, he will leave behind some blood droplets. There aren't a whole lot of them being spawned and I'll probably change that. So there's a little bit more, but I think that's a nice effect. So yeah, there's that. And then I've also, um, let me reset this real quick and hopefully we don't have any frame drops. Okay, cool. I've also been working on improving the uh, finishing effects as well. So let me get him so I can do a finishing move. Yeah, I completely changed the sound design on the finishing move. I've added in a few more effects and then I also added in kind of like a nice uh, body hit splat sound whenever he hits the ground and it's dynamic so whatever um, surface he'll hit whether it's the ground or the wall that's where the sound will spawn at. Let's do it to this guy too. Yeah, have a seat. <laughs> oh my god, that looks ridiculous. So yeah, that is what I've been working on. Um, I've also made a little bit of changes to the um, to the melee system. Um, so basically, what I was struggling with is I wanted to give the player the ability to crouch. To dodge and to dodge roll all mapped to one button and though it's kind of hard to pull off uh, what I ended up having to do is you have to do a multi button press if you want to do a crouch um, so if I want to crouch it'll be holding down E and then hitting the alt button and then you'll crouch and then if I want to just do like a quick step it's just like you know directional arrow and then you press the alt button and then if you want to do a dodge roll, you have to do a double tap really quickly. 
and I don't have an actual animation in there yet, but you will see, um, oh, I forgot to remove the print string, uh, but if you hit the double tap, um, it will do a, um, it's ready to do a dodge roll animation whenever I put that in there. So yeah, I wanted to do that, that way you have the option, a little more, um, choices when you're doing combat and stuff. So yeah, there is that, and then, if I don't know if you've seen the past video, but I'm also working on developing, or building out, um, the hospital level here. Reload real quick, it's an enemy right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm building out this level, I got some death kind of mannequins sprawled across the area. And I'll eventually replace those with, you know, people. Uh, but just working on kind of like the visual storytelling of the level as well. Like, um, just kind of like trying to illustrate how um, the creatures were outside of this door. And they were trying to get in and they tried to use these benches to keep the doors closed. But um, that obviously did not work. So yeah. Got that. I added in some um, atmospheric fog to kind of give it a little bit of a mood. Added in some kind of shattered glass for the doors. If you look close enough, the glass is shattered. Oh, we're dropping frames. Yeah, can't see it very well here. Here we go. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm currently working on. Um, but yeah, uh, progress is going good. So that should do it for this episode. I thank you guys for tuning in and watching. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care.